Woolworths product developers travel the world in search of the latest food trends and flavors. Corner recently joined Marisa Munro for the ultimate culinary trip as they traveled from Venice to the northern borders of Italy in search of the finest Italian wine, the sweetest Parma ham and authentic pasta. Stefano, I absolutely love the energy here. I take it it's the main source of food in Venice. Absolutely. We are at the Rialto market, the food market. This market has been here for over a thousand years. And the scenes, the sights, the noise, the flavors, the smells have been the same for centuries. This is where the Italian produce arrives into Venice. And I think it marks the perfect starting point for our hunt for authentic Italian flavors. Well, if this market sets the standard, then I'm in for a real flavor experience. First stop, just outside of Venice, was Botta Vineyards, which is run by three generations of the Botta family and has been supplying Woolworths for over 10 years with their Italian-style wine. Oh, Annalisa, it's so beautiful out here. I can see how it contributes to making Italian wine so unique. I guess that in a glass of wine, you can find all our tradition, our history, the way of being Italian. And there are so many fantastic wine around the world, produced everywhere. I mean, also in your country or in Chile, in Australia, everywhere. The difference is that, I guess, <laughs> Uh, that in our glass of wine you find nearly 2,000 years of history. I see you have a Pinot Grigio there, can you try some? Yes, of course. Can you keep it short? <laughs> Italy's most popular white wine, the smooth and silk-like Pinot Grigio, is enjoyed as a relatively young wine, going famously with seafood and light pastas. Very fruity but also quite light. It's an easy drinking wine. The color is uh, pale straw yellow, but uh, on the nose it's quite fruity. Mm. In the mouth it's uh, well balanced, not very full, but it's, it's characteristic. It's a really lovely wine and it's a, a style that suits the South African palate really well. And of course then if we travel the world to find some of the most delicious food and we enjoy this lovely Italian cuisine, we need to pair it with some of the best wines that Italy has to offer. Our journey takes us up into the hills of Parma in pursuit of the sweetest Parma ham, a cured ham delicacy that Marisa can't get enough of. Valeria Beretta has mastered the recipe of pork, salt, fresh air and thyme. We are here in our Parma ham factory and we are here with our 500,000 hams. Wow, that is a lot of meat. Valeria, I've come to understand traveling here that the reason it's called Parma ham is because it's actually from the region. Exactly, we are here in Langirano, a tiny village in the heart of the Parma ham region. In this tiny village, we produce now, as in the past, Parma ham. And this village benefit of the good advantage of the cold air from the mountain and the warm air from the sea. These two air mix together and give the particular aroma of the Parma ham. So Parma ham can really be done only here in Langirano, taking benefit of this particular climate. The process is in true Italian style. Simple ingredients, yet to take some time. Yes, it takes at least 12 months. So we start the process with the salting. Salt will cover our ham, and during the first six months, the ham lay down in cool room. At the six months, we put fat on the ham, fat that will preserve the ham and will help us to give the flavor aroma of our ham. All the waiting, yet it's all worth it. Time is an important ingredient. So we will have salt and we will have time. At 12 months, it gets branded an authentic prosciutto di parma or parma ham. Next, our flavor journey steered north to the Dolomite Mountains and the town of Predazzo. I thought you were taking me on a tour of Italy, but this feels like we're in the Austrian Alps. Well, you're right. We are still in Italy. We are right up in the north and we are very, very close to the Austrian border. And you can see how this reflects in the architecture of the city and uh, many other aspects of the day-to-day -day life. But we are still in Italy. And although we are in the center of the Dolomites, where this is the last place in Italy you'd think you would find an Italian pasta manufacturing company, 
it's the home of one of the finest pasta makers in this country. It's the Felicetti company and Ricardo, the owner, today has invited us to join him in a food tasting experience. The location is everything and Ricardo's operation uses all the natural advantages of the Valley of Fiemme to produce 11 types of pasta in over 200 different shapes. All of this looks so beautiful. Ricardo, I can only imagine if you make pasta in this beautiful alpine setting, it must taste delicious. Well, if you look around and you see the environment, yeah, you're right. We can produce very good pasta. And by the way, the water we use for our pasta comes from a source which is up there in the mountains at 2,000 meter altitude. We are 106 years old. My great-grandfather founded the company in 1908. So everything makes us a little bit different from other pasta makers. But what does make us unique in this case is that we can profit of an pure alpine water and we dry our pasta with fresh green air coming down from those valleys and come down from those forests and that make us unique in this case. Part of having a good pasta is having a great sauce. Is the chef preparing something for us? Absolutely, Alessandro will prepare something for us. So while we are cooking the pasta, Alessandro will make the sauce. And it works like this. He will start with uh, melting butter into the pot. And as soon as butter is melted but not getting brown, he will start melting anchovies into the butter. And then, in order to have a better creamy sauce, he will add a vegetal broth with sage and carrots. Few elements, but a lot of taste. Now, the pasta. Oh, wow, that's a skill. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, years and years of exercise. <laughs> it's no secret the Italians insist that their pasta be cooked al dente. And although it's a preference Marisa shares, she says it boils down to personal taste. Her advice, though, is to use only 100% Durham wheat pasta, which appears almost yellow when ready and firm to the palate. Ecco fatto, oh, <laughs> Pasta, Pinot Grigio and Parma ham are all products that have developed over 20 centuries since the arrival of the ancient Greeks in Italy. It's a living history in every bite. It's so beautiful that four simple ingredients could have so much flavor. And we're so lucky, you know, we've traveled this beautiful country and we've enjoyed some of the best food and flavor from all the regions. And at Woolworths, that's what we do. The product developers travel the world to bring the best flavor from the globe to South Africa. I think through this trip, we've created some amazing Italian memories and food memories. Salute. Let's drink Salute. to that. Salute. Salute. A food trip to Italy must be won. Get all the details online at woolworths.co.za or at tastemag.co.za.